pit bikes are maybe one of the greatest things ever. They do all have some flaws. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily and cheaply fix a major issue with the CRF 110. Riding pit bikes may be one of my favorite things in the world to do, but they all have these little quirks and flaws. I've got a CRF 110, I've got a KLX, I love them both. Both are a little different. This bike, I've got a little stuff done to it to make it better. We do a lot of trail riding, so still running stock exhaust, but I've got a skid plate. I got a cheap way of making the forks a little longer and a spacer on the rear shock, some better foot pegs. Built me a bracket to put some BMX bars up there. And I've got the clutch kit, which is kind of terrible, but that may be another video. One thing that this thing does have an issue with is the shift shaft. The shift shaft sticks out like this far from the cases and something hits this. Even if you have a folding one, I don't right now, but even if you did, there's a lot of leverage being pushed on this and these get bent. The problem is when they get bent, to be able to get them out, they have to go out that way. So I've seen guys have to literally cut theirs off to be able to pull out the old one and put the new one in. And that's just too much. Not when something easy can fix it. So let me show you what can fix it. In this little bag, I have got the answer to this problem. This is what you get. And not only does it come in a small little package, but it is a big help. Let me show you the difference between this one and some cheaper ones that I've seen online. The shift shaft goes right through the middle of this. This one has the bronze bushing in there. That's just gonna help it not bind up and not hang. Not only that, it is machined out of a piece of billet aluminum, and this weird design on the back isn't there just for looks. That fits in tight around the cases, so it just gives it that added extra support. These are not that expensive. I have a link in the description below, but you can get these online, and they, will i promise you be way cheaper than having to replace that shift shaft and split the, or take the clutch cover off pull the clutch up all that stuff this little thing is maybe the most important mod you can do to your crf 110. this mod is super easy to do also not only is it important to do but it's super easy you're only going to need a few tools you're going to need an eight millimeter socket 10 millimeter socket. I like the extension. I thought the two inch extension works good. A ratchet. And then we're going to need to get a box knife like that. And I'll show you what this is for as we move on. All right, doing this may be one of the simplest mods, too. We're going to pull this loose. Take that shifter off. Next, just, I like to use the extension just to be able to get to it. A lot of people remove the chain guards on these bikes, but I leave them. I ride the pit bikes a lot in tennis shoes, and I've had my shoelaces sucked up in there a couple of times. So I'm definitely going to put this back on because I do believe it's important. These bolts we will reuse. The easiest way to know what to do next, you take this, slide it on so you can see which bolts you need to remove. Let's get those out. There is a gasket up underneath here, but loosening these two bolts will not damage the gasket. We just got to make sure that we get them good and snug as they go back in.
It comes with longer bolts. As you can see the difference, these bolts are a little bit longer to make up for the difference in this right here. Slide that on there. Put the new bolts in. The new bolts have a 10 millimeter head on them, so you'll need to make sure you have a thin socket to be able to reach between the bolt and the stator cover. And you gotta get them in there. Remember, this is just a cover for your stator. It does not have to be wrenched down. All right, up next, when this piece goes on here, we're going to have to actually make some room for that to get in there. And this is future me editing this, realizing I did this off camera. Sorry about that. I didn't cut it out because I wanted to show you just how quickly they, this can get done. And I'll show you exactly what I cut just in a second. Just hold on. I've cut that plastic piece right there. Just with the box knife, it cuts relatively easy. Just put it down there and it'll cut down. Make sure she fits. Go back in with these. Also, while I'm editing, I'm realizing that I'm showing everybody my weenus. The skin on my elbow, which is called weenus, which is quite interesting. So at least you learn about this product and a fun fact. And I keep showing you my weenus. Also, I uh, don't know if I should play music here. Y'all tell me in the comments, what do you think? During this stuff, do you want to hear music in the background? Is that boring? Just trying to get better at these videos as my channel does grow and um hey it's a perfect time for me to tell you while you're doing nothing but watching my weenus to subscribe maybe more weenus videos and i didn't say it when i took it off but make sure that you put this back where it went i marked mine with a little yellow paint pen mark but anything you can do to mark it, take a Sharpie, something to mark the line where the break is. That way it gets right back where it was so you don't even notice that you changed anything. And like I said, it's that easy. That was in real time. Literally how long it takes to put that on and protect your bike. Mine does have the skid plate, so the shaft getting directly hit is somewhat protected. But I promise you, seen it many a times, a root, a rock, a tree comes up, catches on this, bends that little shaft right there. And yeah, it really makes for a nightmare to fix. So just spend the money, protect your bike. I don't care if you have a little kid riding one of these or if it's your pit bike or race bike. I promise you, you will not regret buying that. Whenever you do catch it hard enough to bend your shifter, you'll know that the shift shaft is safe. I appreciate everybody for watching the videos. They're sporadic, I know, and I just do this stuff for fun, and I really appreciate y'all letting me show you products that I do believe work and are worth buying. So if you want to, there's a link in the description. I have no affiliation. I get no money. This is just the one that I have. Um, just check them out. They are definitely worth buying and worth having on your Honda. And let's see what other parts I can put on there and maybe save y'all some money.